Hey guys, I show you how to paint Raven today. So we have Halloween and um, I thought this bird fits quite well with the celebrations. And I made this one. I did it quite detailed, but don't worry, it does not need to be as detailed as that. And I hope that you enjoy watching the video as well as painting the bird. Okay, let's get started. Here is my raven. It is actually quite detailed, so I put a lot of effort into making a sketch but I don't use up all the details. However, I wanted to emphasize the feathers. I continue with preparing the colors. So I mix a blue out of phthalo blue and some indigo blue, and then I have indigo blue and mixed with some paints gray. I start with the head, so basically I water this part with a big brush and then I use a smaller brush to add the blue mixture. So I'm a little bit more careful here and um, I like how it spreads on the paper. It looks a little bit uh, that the bird has a funky style, but later on I will correct it. And I am applying the first layer, just uh, wetting one part and then adding the paint there. And I vary a little bit between those two mixtures what I have and try to see where I should keep the, it quite light and where I should add some more darker paint like here at the chest. So it's more indigo blue and paints grey but very light. And then spreading the paint again and just working slowly on the first layer. And then adding more paint onto the wings or onto the feathers and add dark layer of uh, indigo blue and paint screen on the tail because it's gonna be very dark also here with the eye I just add some of the first blue mixture and just adding a very light layer Later on I add a different color, warmer color, but first I focus onto the beak. So the ravens have a very characteristic beak. It's very long and strong. And here as well adding more of the indigo blue and paints mixture. However, I wanted that the top of the beak is relatively uh, untouched, so I took some of the paint away and it should stay also later on quite as a highlight. I mixed uh, some uh, brown color out of burnt sienna and some deep yellow and I want to add it to the eye. Also, I will use this mixture later on, but first I focus a little bit onto the beak and add some more of a darker colors here. I try to keep the shape of the beak so it's a little bit round. I'm adding more of the dark color so now I add basically the second layer and um, using it here more stronger pigments 
because when I add the third layer, it's gonna just be emphasizing the details. So now I put a lot of a focus where are the roundness, where are the shadows, and how dark certain parts of the body look like on the bird. I wanted to keep the head quite light and um, using the dull blue because I really like the color. But I leave here as well some highlights which are around the beak, between the beak and the eye. At the same time I add already a dark shade so I mix the color more of the paint screen in the blue but adding really much more paint gray so it really looks much darker and then here as well around the beak it should stay quite dark so now I add also added also some black to the mixture and I spread it slightly downwards. I'd like to leave some details on the head because they are in focus, but for example, the back wings or the back of the bird. It's more loose style, so I will not add a single feathers there. And the around the back, it was a quite dark shadow, so I will add quite a dark paint there. But really, at the top is just the blue, the same blue as I used for the head of the bird. However. I wanted to, to avoid uh, to take off the hard edge, so edges, so I wet it a little bit around the back and just adding colors there so it spreads nicely. And then at the chest, it um, had a very dark chest area. So here I added more of the dark color or it with a little bit black and then the second layer but it's much more lighter than the black and so there I used the blue color. But very important here is to let the first layer shine through. And then I add the same brown that I use for, uh, used for the eye. I wanted to create a little bit of a balance here with the colors so it's not just in the eye this one really warm color but also a little bit reflecting on the bird. And then continue a width of the second layer underneath the wing so basically at the belly and on, on the leg and here i was also like really focusing where is where are the shadows what is the darkest part and then the main idea was to leave a little bit the first layer coming through but it's really not as detailed as i planned it to be so it's just a really relaxing idea and um, over painting mostly of the first layer but then later on adding the really important details. I don't want the wings to be too dark because I really want to have more darkness underneath the belly and then as well on the tail of the um, raven here. The ravens are very, very beautiful birds and actually really interesting. They're very large birds. Last year I have encountered a big family and was really 
nice to see and they were a little bit upset that we were walking with the dogs through the forest so they have quite noticed us but they are also very common in Lapland I thought originally that birds have difficulties of finding for example food in Lapland as there aren't really that many people living there and better uh, they are feeding on quite a variety of foods so for example um, insects small animals unfortunately nesting other nesting birds as well as a food waste but also on fruits and seeds this is why they're very common in different places of the world and apparently they're very intelligent birds as well so their their cognitive level might be close to uh, adult grade ape according to some studies and they have a great memory so they can quite well recognize faces and remember who is good to them or maybe who actually is dangerous to them and they give the information to others as well but and they can hold a grudge which was actually quite new for me apart from the intelligence obviously as they are so common there are many myths and legends around them as they have been living for thousands of years close to the humans so many nations have different stories about it but because i am living in finland and i'm more related to the northern nordic mythologies so i know many stories about uh, Odin and the Norse god or the Viking god and which was also which is also known as a raven god because he has sacrificed his eye one eye for the wisdom and uh, relied on two ravens Hagen and Morgan as messengers so what else is happening in the world and actually Hagen means a thought and Morgan means memory. Um, as I continue here with my bird, I added quite a lot of detail to the eye and I emphasize now different parts of the bird so here I focus still on the eye but as well as on the feathers I try to add dark colors underneath some of the feathers so they're kind of a little bit striking especially when the this area is very light in color then i kind of con with more details so where I added a lot of effort painting drawing the feathers 
and what I do is basically wet with one brush this area and then I take with a thinner brush some more paint and add the paint there so it's more like wet to wet it takes me quite a while but I believe it looks really nice especially after the bird has dried it looks really striking and I'm not to overdo it just to add too much color there so it's just a little bit of paint spreading around between those single feathers and occasionally I have a look at my reference picture as well but it's not that detailed and here at the back having more of the dark color so now I added more of the black color to the mixture but it still contains indigo blue and paints gray and also with the large feathers I add more some water and then the paint here a little bit more it's sometimes difficult to stop where to add paint and how much to think about how much details do I really need and then the tail of the bird has was really dark on the reference picture so added a lot of paint and as well it is quite important when you paint it that you prepare a lot of paint ahead which uh, I did not do and I occasionally had to take a break even though I wetted some of the areas so I still had to mix more of the um, colors especially darker colors are a bit trick here because you can't add too much water and here I emphasize the wing structure from the side so we really needed there some dark colors and as well as on the back of the bird but as well as the chest needs some more um, improvement and I try not to overpaint too much of the light areas and then I focus a little bit here on the feet so I use the same colors as I have used for the rest of the for emphasizing the feather so it's really like a dark black blue color and added as well to the claws as the bird or the raven is standing on a branch. And then a little bit more emphasizes onto the beak, but not too much as well as a bit adding more color. Then I use some bird sienna and some deep yellow as I have used before but now I added some of the indigo blue and a little bit reddish color for example as a cadmium red if you want to have it much warmer and then painting the branch basically with that and using the colors that are left for the bottom side of the branch. Then I wet the paper and add some light colors of taller blue and indigo blue so all the colors that I have used before for the background I want to have it quite blurry so this is why spraying the paper is quite good
and I mix some of the deep yellow and cardium red so I really want to have a nice orange because I thought of Halloween having this gloomy gleary colors here of for example orange of the pumpkin or of a orange moon and having the raven with its cold side of bluish cold blue colors and it fitted quite well so I added at the top above the head yes that's it thank you for watching and remember to subscribe bye